Hello again, John Wilde here to give you a look at Vintage Toys, and this time we're going to be looking at the Chevy Chevette rally car produced by Process Plastics Company in the 1980s. The Chevy Chevette was my first car, so when I first saw this toy at my local flea market, I had to have it. I remember plastic cars and trucks like this one when I was a kid. They were almost in scale with three and three quarter figures and translated well to Mego and GI Joe vehicles. Most of the style of these toys had movable wheels and at least one movable feature, in this case a lift up hatchback. And with a little bit of imagination, you could put a three and three quarter inch figure in the back and off she goes. But where did these cars and trucks come from? Well, the company that produced this toy was called the Process Plastic Company and they were based out of Aurora, Illinois. The company was founded in 1948 and produced a plastic dump truck. Up until this time, most toy vehicles were made of metal or wood. At the height of the Prosec Plastic Company's sales, they were the largest manufacturer of plastic dinosaurs, farm animals, and toy soldiers. The Process Plastic Company also owned Timmy Toys Company, which they purchased in 1964. These plastic cars were sold in five and dime stores like Kresge's and Woolworths. But in the 1970s, the OPEC oil embargo started the downfall of the Process Plastic Company. It survived until 2005. This Chevy Chevette rally car was manufactured in the United States, which was becoming less common as Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Japan began to be the primary manufacturer of toys for kids in the United States. Let's get a look at the details of this great vintage toy. Beginning in the front of the car, we can see that they have added chrome accents on the headlights, front grille, and bumper. The wheels also had chrome accents. Finally, the last chrome details are on the rear taillights, bumper, and license plate. It says Toy 1. There's great detail on the bottom of this vehicle also. All four wheels spin. There's pretty nice details on the inside of the car too. We see the front seats have seat belts. There's a steering wheel. There's a little bit of uh, dash detail. The rear of the car, there actually was a flip down back seat. And on the back of the vehicle, we have a lift up hatchback. Here's a good overall look at the left side of the car. And now the right side of the car. There's also some detail on the hood. Here's a nice look at the back of the car with the hatchback open. And here's a look at the front of the car. Here's a few pictures of the car with the original decals. Cars like this Chevy Chevette Rally and trucks produced by the Process Plastics Company were nice inexpensive vehicles for G.I. Joes to interact with. And I remember them being part of many of my playtimes. Plus the Chevy Chevette Rally could race the General Lee and most likely be pulled over by Officer Ponch from Chips. I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to catch my latest uploads. And until next time, two car shows in two weeks? Okay, how many of you remember this thing?